Oh, bummer. Well, one of our fish died. So we'll have to fish him out and uh, put some more in. So this system is not really running too hot and I am pretty sure it's because our pump uh, hasn't been cleaned in a good long time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take the system apart, clean the biofilter out that's inside the pump and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. All right, so I've shut the system off and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the recirc line and then pull the pump right out of the tank. So I put some water in the bucket here and, and then I have the pump sitting out here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, dismantle this and go from there. Okay, so I'm going to pull this back cover off. You can see inside of there, it is just full of mud and fish poop and just all sorts of bacterias. So we're going to take that filter out there and uh, stick it inside our water. it. Just get all the stuff out of the filter. See it already looks 100% better. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep working this in. I'm trying to get everything I can. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next. So now that, we, now that we have this fish waste water uh, just sitting here, I don't want to waste it. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and give it to this tomato plant here in this container. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump the water in and uh, feed this plant. All right, this might be a little difficult with one hand, but I'll give it my best shot. So. I don't want to waste any, so that's pretty full. So I'm just going to give it a minute, let it soak in, and then I'll pour some more in. All right, so I'm going to finish up cleaning out this pump. So I'm just going to stick everything in here because I don't want to waste any of the nutrients that's left over. And I'm going to wash this out really good with the hose. And I'll be back with you. Okay, so I got the pump all back together, and now I'm just going to put the recirc line in and uh, start her back up. So... All right, so now that the, how the pump has been all cleaned out, you can see the water flow is uh, pretty pretty steady and a, a lot more than I, than I really want in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and have to readjust the system, but uh, it's all, it, you know, it looks like it's gonna be running just fine, so. All right, so that was definitely the problem. This system is running great now. Uh, I topped it off with some water. I don't know if you can see the fish inside there with the water moving, but there's a couple of them. And they're doing really well. So that was it, just maintenance on the barrel system. Now it's working great. So we're gonna clean this uh, hydroton, this expanded uh, clay, and we're gonna go ahead and fill in the last nine or so holes in the floating raft. So I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this stuff out. And so it's a little dark here. I don't know if you can see the algae growing in there. So I'm gonna fill these all in with uh, some some buckets. What are you doing, Marty? Huh? What are you doing? So now that it's not 110 degrees in here and the sun has finally gone down, uh, I'm gonna try something a little different than I did with these um, with, with these floating rafts. You can see I put those uh, pods in and. Some plants don't really mind it in aquaponics, aquaponics as you can see, but other plants really 
don't seem to like it very much. And I think that's what's going on with these eggplants. I think it's just keeping the roots soaked all the time, so they're not. We're not getting a bunch of uh, growth here. And um, let's uh, get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this second bed here, and I'm just going to plant this this spring mix, this uh, seed. So what I'm going to do is just kind of move move these beads out of the way and find some uh, damp ones and throw a couple, a couple seeds in and see if they come up. If they do, great. If not, then I will get, uh, I'll just go back to using the pods. So I'm going to go ahead and get that set up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just move some of these beads out of the way. And just find some damp ones. pretty good and now I'm going to just throw a few seeds in there and we'll see if anything comes up. Uh, these seeds are pretty small so they might not but uh, we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. Alright, so this is the last one. I'm just going to get those out of the way. It's kind of damp in there so Take a little sprinkle of seeds, put them in there, cover them up. All right, that was the last one. So we will see what happens in uh, a week or so. All right, so thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel. Uh, take a look at our website at hdaquaponics.com. From there, you can find links to our Facebook fan page, HD Aquaponics. You can also follow me on Twitter at HD Aquaponics. So. Uh, next week we're going to go ahead and rip out some of the uh, indoor system because uh, it's just getting too too full and uh, we're going to go ahead and replant three of the four beds. So thanks for watching and uh, until next week.